Okay, so question two. We want to solve this differential equation by variation of parameters. That's going to involve solving the homogeneous version of the equation, and then using those solutions in that whole variation of parameters method. So, the equation is... Sorry. The equation is y dash dash plus 2y dash minus 3y equals et. So the solution, the solution will be, it'll be y equals some u1 times y1 plus u2 y2 plus, and then multiples the homogeneous solution. Okay. Now, where does this, first of all, where does the y1 come from? The y1 comes from the Solving the homogeneous system, you should do with the auxiliary polynomial, which is going to be lambda squared plus 2 lambda minus 3. That factorizes into lambda plus 3 lambda minus 1. So that means that y1 equals e to the minus 3t, and y2 equals e to the t. Um, to just check that. Uh, so e to the minus 3t is going to be minus 3 e to the minus 3t um, plus, so the, take one derivative of that, you get 3 minus 3 e to the minus 3t, so we have minus 6 e to the minus 3t there, and then another one derivative you can come with 9, so 9 e to the minus 3t that does equal zero, yes. Okay, so that solution is correct. And then e to the t, check that one. Minus three e to the t, and then two e to the t, and then e to the t. Yep, that's a zero as well. Okay, so those two homogeneous solutions are both correct. Now we got to find the u1, the u2. So that comes from looking at this matrix C where you have y1 and then it's derivative, and you have y2 and then it's derivative, multiplied by vector u1, u2, u1 dash, u2 dash, equals, and then we have 0, and now here we have the thing on the right of the non-homogeneous equation, which is e to the t, divided by the coefficient of the second derivative, which is just 1 in this case, so it's the same. So we need to solve this this matrix equation for u1 dash u2 dash. Okay, so we can probably do this by inspection. So the second row has got to end up multiplied by the vector must give us an e to the t, which means that the u2 dash must just be a constant. So it's going to be some constant. Uh, let's, call, let's call it 1 for now. And it means that the u1 dash must have then have a factor of e to the 4t, so that it ends up making that thing into making that thing into uh, e to the t, e to the minus 3t times e to the 4t is e to the t. Uh, but the top row times the vector tells us that these things have got to cancel out and give us a zero. So we're going to we're going to have top row times this vector we've got so far would give us e to the t plus e to the t. So one of these things needs to be negative to cancel out, so I made that one negative. That would cancel out. So I have... Uh, in fact, rather, let me make that one negative because... No, just whatever. Nicer. That one's negative. e to the minus... So we have e to the t minus e to the t equals zero. Then the, now the second row again, second row times that vector is now telling us we have minus 3 e to the t minus e to the t. That's minus 4 e to the t. That's not right. We need to, to, to divide it by the minus 4 to get the e to the t. So that's what u1 dash u2 dash is. So now this gives us u1 and u2. So u1 equals... We need to integrate this uh, thing, which is minus 1 over 4 e to the 4t. So that's going to be what? It's going to be e to the 4t, but then 
um, so integral of that is we need an extra four at the bottom there, so extra four squared. Uh, there's a negative still, right? So when you differentiate that, you bring the four down, cancel all the fours. Yeah, okay. And u two is the integral of integral of a quarter, which is just a quarter t. Okay. Now that's actually itself. Because we've already written down that y is u one y one, and we've written down what y is, and now you've tackled all the individual items in there are. I mean, I suppose we could just add that a and b are any real number. But we could check this. We should check this. So let's check that basically that the that the solution to the non-homogeneous system we found really is non-homogeneous solution. So I'm going to ignore the added on homogeneous solution because we've already checked that that works. So we're going to look at we're going to check that y equals in fact I mean there's no harm in writing this thing out is that y equals minus one over four squared e to the 4t times y1, which was e to the minus 3t. So that ends up giving you just e to the t. Plus u2, y2 is, um, then it's a quarter t, y2 was e to the t. Okay. Uh, and then we have these homogeneous terms, we have what? We have a, where is it? We have a e to the minus 3t plus b e to the t. Ah, so actually this is useful because this shows us that that, that first term, the, u, the u1, the y1 u1 gave us, u1 y1 gave us, that e to the t, that can actually be absorbed into the homogeneous b e to the t part. So we could rewrite this as quarter t e to the t plus a e to the minus 3t plus b to the t. Okay, so a, b are numbers, and you'll know. Okay, so I suppose I'm going to be pedantic. I should really call this b something else because it's different from the b in the previous line because it's absorbed it's absorbed the minus one over four squared. Okay. Uh, so let's check this. Now we don't need to check the homogeneous part, which is the bit with the constants on it, multiplying it. We just need to check this quarter t e to the t. So we check it by looking at y dash equals quarter e to the t plus quarter t e to the t. So what what is that actually in terms of y? That's actually y was it's actually one over four e to the t plus y, isn't it? No, I I called y something different, so I can't say that kind of thing. I can just leave that as it is. Um, and y dash dash is then quarter e to the t plus now you get another quarter e to the t, so you end up with Two quarters e to the t, and then you still have the other thing, yeah, quarter t e to the t. Okay. Now the actual equation was the actual constants for one of these things was y dash dash had a one, y dash had a two, and then y had a minus three. Y had a minus three. Uh, y was quarter t e to the t. So that means this is actually going to be minus 3. That's y dash dash is the same, and this one needs to change to 2. 2. So now if we look at the e to the t terms, they look, they do add up to 1, and the t e to the t terms, look, they do cancel. Perfect. So we get e to the t, as we meant to get. So this, this quarter t e to the t thing, that really is a solution to the to the um, 
non-homogeneous surgeon and that surgeon was solution. That's it.